Ah, I'm Yannis Yanguar, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to expand your color palette in your skirmish matches. Alright, so welcome back, and in this tutorial, we are going to be modifying the multiplayer.ini, and additionally, the generals.csf file, and don't forget that you can find all this good stuff in the general zero hour modding manual that I have under multiplayer.ini and actually custom skirmish colors.ini and I will be going over this to show you exactly how all this stuff works right now. So open up multiplayer.ini and scroll down to multiplayer color and these will be all the inputs for the colors in the game. As you can see on mine I have colors that you don't have like white gold, dark red, and then sky blue, dark green, and so on and so forth. The other code in here is the starting cache for the skirmish mask, but I'll make another video for that. And so what you would do is you just copy and paste it, and you would just change the RGB inputs for the normal color and the night color. And then you will change the tooltip to this format right here just to make it simplest for you. So in this case, this is color colon pink. And then you need to put this string in the general CSF file, which looks like this. And as you can see, I have dark blue, green, purple, red, and specifically I have sky blue I wanted to show you because I wrote it as cyan and it's not sky blue in my game because there's a character limit for the space involved, but you'll need to modify and other stuff if you want to play with that. And you can add as many colors as you want. There's a few mods, you should go check those out if you're a little lazy. But really, you just pop it in the file, and then you pop it in the general CSF, otherwise it'll say missing color, input, and you it'll show you the color and everything. And if you want to find the values here, again, these are RGB. You can just Google that and you can find a color wheel. Pretty simple. This is red, green, and blue and you just pop those in. And I'm just gonna demonstrate real fast by putting in a few more colors by borrowing from those mods. Eek, I have all these missing numbers. It's so ugly now. All right, so we're gonna open up the CSF editor and general CSF, and we are just going to create this input string but with our new colors. All right, let's go check out our colors. As you see, I have the added colors. And if you look right there, you don't really need to add too many variations because you can see they're very alike. And as you can look at the bottom right there, I missed one and it's just that easy to miss a color. That's all she wrote and don't forget to check out the modding manual where I go into in depth just like how I did in this video on what stuff to modify. And I have a bunch of pre-labeled codes here that you can just copy over and add yourself, you know, because why not? See you around.